Hey, on behalf of Amanda and myself, welcome to our online dance lessons. In this lesson, we're going to demonstrate and teach you some things, uh, basic ideas about the East Coast Swing. I clarified that or classified that as East Coast Swing because we have East Coast Swing, we have West Coast Swing, and we have a derivative of both that's called the push. This is specifically about the East Coast Swing. The East Coast Swing is made up of two motions or two elements, triple steps and rock steps. So let's give you an idea of what it looks like. First, if we start with our two-hand hold, this is going to go like so. Triple step, triple step, rock step. Triple step, triple step, rock step. Triple step, triple step, rock step. If I just change to show you this point of view, we go triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step. And then lastly, from this point of view here, we go triple step, triple step, rock step. Triple step, triple step, rock step. Now, one of the most peculiar things about this dance I find is the point where we step away from each other. And this happens on the rock step. So as we rock step, we go rock and replace step. Where most people make their biggest fault here is they put way too much space between their steps, which overextends them, and now we're off balance and don't look so hot. So rock steps are typically done right underneath you. And this is a great exercise. If you have a partner, feel that you work off of each other and just doing rock step. So our hand connection here is critical. It's going to fluctuate through here. As our connection is hooked together through our fingers here, as I go into the rock step, Amanda's going to feel pressure coming into her palm through the back of my hand, hands, which is going to signal to her rocking back. And then the springy part of that of coming back and forward. So again, you see we're working off of each other through here, but our hands are staying mostly in the middle. Notice our hands don't wind up more on Amanda's side than on mine, or more on my side than on Amanda's side. They're right in the middle. So as we go, triple step, triple step, rock step. Triple step, triple step, rock step. Now this is with our two-handed hold position. Our closed position in the swing, the man's right arm comes around the lady's waist like so, the lady's left hand comes up to about the seam of the man's shirt like so. We still dance our same steps of triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step. As you see, the difference is simply that as we rock, we're going to uh, open up just a little bit from each other. So our inside positions, or my right side, her left side, are closer together now and then we square back up. Then we open that back up, rock, step. Triple step, triple step, rock, step. The next thing I want to point out about the swing that's it's really critical is how we displace our steps. So if I show you from here, this point of view, I don't go one, two, three, one, two, three, rock, step. Ideally, the best way to count that would be one and two. In a triple step, there are two beats of music. So as I go there, I'm going one and two, three and four, rock, step. Swing is one of those odd dances that does not balance. It takes six beats of music to do one basic step, but there are eight beats of music in the, in the music. So we have to go through our basic step three times before the one would come back to being at the beginning of our actions. But what I want you to notice the most is that one and are smaller than two because one and was two half beats and, one, and two was one whole beat. So notice that as we dance. One and two, three and four, rock, step. One and two, three and four, rock, step. One and two, three and four, rock, step. 
This is the basic idea for the swing. Very important, keeping that tempo and keeping everything collected and right underneath our bodies. Try to make your steps always relative to the speed of the music as well as to your size and your partner's size. And you'll have a lot more success and you'll enjoy your dancing a great deal more.